Hey Capricorn, this is your message for October. What Holy Spirit wants to convey to you what is coming in for the month of October. Holy Spirit, what is coming in for Capricorn for the month of October? And just, I want to let you know, cross, cross watchers are welcome. Um, if you see your your boot thing, your, what they call it? Ski? <laughs> if you see your lover's sign, you can watch, you know, because the energy might be flip-flop, okay? So if you hear of a particular story and it's the other way around, you know, take it or don't take it. It's up to you, totally up to you. If you are, if you want a personal reading, I am open for personal readings. I definitely need to link the booking site. I'll probably link it in my description. I don't know. Okay. So you have the sacred waters. Nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, and self-care. Capricorn, you guys are known for, you know, working, being hard workers. Y'all are like the father of the Zodiac. So, take some time out. You know, have that balance. As far as just make sure you're taking care of yourself. You're you're resting. You're replenishing. You know, you work hard, you play harder. Right? So, this is your message for October. What is the tarot message? What is the message for Capricorn, Holy Spirit? What do you want, Capricorn? And that actually flipped. So you have the Two of Wands. You might be planning. What are you planning? You're making, you're making decisions about something. You're planning for something. What is Capricorn planning? Or maybe their person. Okay, what is what is Capricorn planning? Okay, you are in the process of planning for a celebration. You have the Three of Cups. You have um, the Page of Wands. I don't know why I want to say the Ace of Wands, but maybe you might have some communication coming in. Um, Yeah, you might be actually going on a trip with the emperor regarding a lover's situation. Let's see, what else? And some communication that is coming. It's coming rapido, very fast. From possibly someone from your childhood, past love, or someone who is either in a committed relationship, or you might be in a committed relationship. Dang, my nose itching, so I might be receiving a visitor soon. <laughs> okay, let's read this energy. Alright. So this is how the cards came out. Like I said, as you can see. Choo, choo, choo. Hold on. All right, so let's read. Capricorn, are you getting ready to get married? I don't know why I felt that. Um, are you doing like a surprise wedding or something? I mean, I don't see the four of wands out. But, of course, you have like um, the lovers. Are you getting ready? Like, I don't know. It's either you're getting married, you're already married. And now you're going to tell people. Some signs that I see that's out here on the board right now. I have Aries, Cancer. Um, 
I have fire, so Aries. There's Aries, Leo, Sag, Sagittarius, Aries again, Gemini, Sag, Scorpio, and Taurus. Yeah, it looks like you might either you I are, are you gonna go are you getting ready to elope? Are you gonna tell people? Or have you already eloped? I don't know, let me know with the Emperor. Seems like Y'all did y'all did it fast. I don't know. That's what the cars is that's just the story that's coming up for me right now. Let me see. Mm, I'm gonna pull one more card from the tarot. Let's see. Is there anything else? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what can you clarify the hierophant? What's going on with that for Capricorn? Are they getting married? Or... Ooh. I'm going to put these back. Let's see. I need just one card. One card. What is... Okay. So actually two. I asked for one and two came out. Okay, so you have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So maybe you're going maybe you're going a little backwards. But you have good luck. You actually went through a lot of trials and tribulations with this um, person. But this is a sign of good luck. You have good um, karma turning in your favor um you face a lot of ups and downs life is unpredictable but it looks like you have good luck let's see what your person wants to say to you what does your person want to say to you set uh sorry capricorn you might be dealing with a sagittarius i want to apologize I need your forgiveness. Let's see. That point is on apologize. They just move on and go make some money. <laughs> Sorry, loves. Y'all are my one seventh, so I can go ahead and joke with you. The distance between us is killing me. It kills me. So maybe you and your person might be apart far apart let's see what holy spirit is asking for you to do in this moment what pride keeps us apart so get out of your pride and ego okay whoever that message is for get out of your pride and ego humble yourself okay and the song that is coming to me is uh, Beyonce's song. He has a, he got a big ego. That's the song that I'm hearing with that. It says reconciliation and twin yeah twin flame. Someone from your past is is or will be returning to your life soon. Twin flame. The person the person is your mirrored soul. This is why. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. So maybe someone who you feel very connected to. I don't know. Are y'all getting married? I mean, I didn't see the four of wands, but I did see something where at least like a commitment, something um, of a commitment, and it's going to be fast, like fast moving. So maybe someone is coming back to say, hey, I want to go ahead and do this thing right. I want you to be mine. Get your sexy ass over here. <laughs> if they say that, let me know. Okay. But anyways, sending lots of love, peace, and prosperity. Ching, 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 ching.